short hand dictation 100 words per minute 7 minutes 10, ten seconds 5 seconds now write down Mr. Deputy Speaker Sir at the outset I thank the honorable members who have participated in this debate. On this occasion, honorable members were worried about the present food situation in the country and the situation which might arise in the country in the next, next few months. One honorable member referred to the Femaine Code. So far as the Femaine Code is concerned, I would like to point out that the rules for Femaine Relief are formulated in the states. Today the central government also take a great deal of care to deal with scarcity conditions. Here I should like to say that they do a lot in giving help to the state governments for the purpose of providing relief. As a matter of fact, in the World Femine Code, there was a rule that the contributions from the central government would be given to the state governments only if they took up unproductive schemes. This has been scrapped. In the same way, in the past only Gruel centers were run. Today, we think of giving milk and other good food. I am sure it will be agreed that this is an improvement. I may say that we are also responsible to see that the relief works are run in an efficient manner to meet the situation. We shall do our duty to the satisfaction of the people. Apart from dealing with the situation, it is important that we should increase agricultural production in the country. It is re realized by everybody that we should not depend upon importing of food grains for a long time. It is necessary that we should become self-sufficient as early as possible. For this purpose, we should have an agricultural program. It is not enough if we have a program. It should be a program which will be good not only on paper but which will help us to attain self-sufficiency. That is why I want to place before this house what we have got to achieve in the agricultural sector during the next 20 years. First of all, we say that we should reach self-sufficiency. In my view, there are two stages of self-sufficiency. One stage is with regard to the food grains which we are importing today. That situation has to be got over as quick as possible. But that is not the whole story. We have to move in the direction of supplying nutritious food to the people. It means not only vegetables but also various other things which have to be taken care of. The second thing is that through agricultural we should be able to produce all the raw materials which are required by our industry. There is another aspect of the matter. It is necessary for me to point out 
that agriculture has also helped us to get foreign exchange which is necessary for this country even now agriculture is making a great contribution in this respect but i think that this has got to be more letter from ghosh and company mumbai to messrs ghani and company kolkata dear sirs we thank you for your letter dated 4th january offering to act as our sole agent in west bengal for the distribution of our silk goods we agree with your views regarding the possibilities of food good market for our products and the advisability of appointing a sole agent for that area for some time past we avarjanus have also been thinking on the same lines we wish to tell you that we are really impressed with your experience as an agency house and your wide connection and we would like to entrust you with the representation of our firm however before entering into any formal arrangement with you we should like to have further information about your ability to handle the large volume of business that we are expecting there we would therefore request you to supply us with the names of two preferences from whom we can seek the necessary information it will help us to proceed further in the matter we await an early reply in the matter from you and look forward to opening up of a mutual beneficial connection yours faithfully